Hi, this is Shreng Siddharth once again. Welcome to the next video of this module of collections. Now in this module, we will check out the immutable collection and mutable collection. So first of all, in this video, we will check out what does list stands for. So in case of list, we have the immutable list and also we have mutable list. So we will check out one by one what does the immutable and mutable list stands for and what are these functions such as list of array list array list of and mutable list of stands for. So let's check out one by one and slowly inside the IntelliJ IDE. So in the previous video we checked out what are arrays in case of Kotlin. Now the demerit of array is that it has a fixed size defined. So we cannot change it later. So here what I will do is I will simply modify my code. So here I will simply delete all these code from here. Now to define a list, we need to simply use the var or val keyword and then simply use list equal to use the list of keyword, right? And now here as a template, let us define string. And now as a value, you can simply define the content of the list such as Yogi, Manmohan and at last Vajpayee. So here I have simply defined the immutable list by using the keyword of list of now this is the type of list that we are having so this list variable will only contain the string values or you can say the array of string right so here as a value i have yogi manmohan and Vajpayee. we are having three string values right now as per this slide here this list of keyword only creates the immutable list right so let me add a comment line here that is, this list is actually immutable in nature and also it has fixed size and most importantly, we can only read from this list. That is, later on we cannot modify the list or we cannot write anything extra to this list. That is, once the content of the list has been defined, it cannot be changed. What I'm trying to say is, you cannot use such as list of let's say index 2 equal to let's say something, right? A, B, C, D, right? You cannot do it because the Kotlin does not allow you to do it. Because the list is actually immutable in nature, you cannot modify it later. You can only perform the read operation. Now, what do I mean by the read operation is you can only print out the values present inside the list using the loops that we saw in the previous video, right? And one more thing is common for this list compared to the arrays is that the list also have the sequential index that is this yogi has the index of 1 this element has the index of sorry this yogi has the index of 0 manmohan has the index of 1 and this vajpayee has the index of 2 and so on it will continue if we have further elements right so as of now let us remove the elements of integer and in case you want to enter the int value so you can simply define the int type and simply replace all these value by integer values. Now same applies to the float or let's say boolean or let's say string, right? And now let us print all these values such as replace my array by list and then here let us replace my array by list dot size minus one, right? And here again use list of the index. Now apart from this list index of index, you can simply use list dot get function and simply pass the index. So this loop is actually using the index of the element objects to print out the values, right? And instead of list of index, you can simply use, you can also use list dot get index. So as of now, let us run the code and let's see what happens. So here we get Yogi, Manmohan and Vajpayee and again we get Yogi, Manmohan and Vajpayee, right? So our codes are working perfectly fine. Now suppose later on you want to add the fourth element that is here you want to add one more element. So for that this list of is actually immutable in nature. So the solution for this is that you have to use the mutable list. So here from the slide you can check out the mutable list. We have the array list option, array list of option, mutable list of option. So either of these three you can use as per your choice. So as of now, let us replace this list of by let's say mutable list of. 
right? So this now makes our list a mutable in nature. So let me modify the comment line. So this mutable list of is actually mutable in nature and it has no fixed size. You can add as many elements as you want to. And also you can perform the add or remove operations such as read or write operations as discussed because it is mutable in nature, right? So inside the list, what you can do is you can simply use, you can simply add more elements such as list dot, let's say add. So here, let me add Yogi. So if I add Yogi here, then you can remove Yogi from here, right? Similarly, you can add more elements after the declaration of the mutable list. So since we have added the Manmohan and Vajpayee here, so let us remove these elements from here. So it can be blanked. So this initialization of the list variable can be blanked, right? Now, after this, Suppose if I run the code right now, it is simply going to print out these three elements in the output console as expected Yogi, Manmohan and Vajpayee. Now later on suppose you want to perform more operation on this mutable list. So for that what you will do is you can simply use as many methods as you want to and these methods are actually predefined such as add method, replace all method, remove the element at a specific index, set the element at a specific index get the size of the list and get a specific element at a particular index and so on, right? So as of now, what I will do, I will simply remove the element of, let's say, Manmohan, right? And instead of Manmohan that is present at the index of, let's say, 1. So here I have simply defined the index of the element. This Manmohan is present at the index of 1. So instead of Manmohan, I want to add Modi. So for that, what I will do, list dot add, provide the index of, let's say, 1, add the index of 1, simply add Modi instead of Manmohan. Let us now run the code and let's see if it happens or not. So here in the output console, we have Yogi, Modi and Vajpayee. So the Manmohan has been replaced by Modi, right? Now, instead of this, using the remove and add method that is predefined, we can also use list at the index of 1 equal to let's say Modi, right? So this list at the index of 1 simply replace whatever is present at the index of 1 by Modi. So let us now run the code. So here we get Yogi, Modi and Vajpayee again. So instead of using these two lines of code, we have only one line of code that performs the same operation as done by these two lines of code altogether. And now at the end, instead of mutable list, we can also have, let's say, array list of strings. And also instead of this, you can also use array list. Now to be specific in all the cases, we are actually using the mutable array list, such as here we have the array list of string. Here we have array list of method that simply returns the array list, right? And here again, mutable list of actually returns the array list object. So if you define the type, let's say alt enter specify type explicitly, you will find the mutable list, which is the more generic form. And here again for this alt enter, you will find array list of string. And here again, specify type explicitly, you will find array list of string. Now this mutable list is actually implemented by the array list of string. So all these methods such as mutable list of, array list of and array list are all same. So you can use either of these three. Just for the sake of your more information, I just showed you the explicit declaration. So let us revert it back. And here, let me comment these two lines of code. And here array list of string is again going to work perfectly fine. Let us run the code. And let's see if we are getting the same output or not. Yes, Yogi, Modi and Vajpayee again in the output console. So remember at the end, we have list of method that simply returns the immutable list. And here we have the mutable list such as array list, array list of and mutable list of. You can use either of these three in your code. So in the next two videos, we will check out map and sets in Kotlin. 
So this is Shrinksadar signing off. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Thank you.